is a true legend. And when I say true legend, is not a true when it comes to community. This gentleman is an ex-veteran, but let me just show and share with you the accomplishments of his community service that stands out more than anything. He's U.S. Army officer retired, Feed the Homeless Under the Bridge, a weekly program he's been doing from day one for years. He fed 65 Katrina victims weekly for one year. 37 years of a nonprofit organization to work that. Board member of the Mental Health Active Advocacy Council of the VA Hospital. Vice President of the Advocacy Council of VA Hospitals. Outstanding Businesswoman of the Year by the National Black Mayors Association. Even the women are saluting you, huh? I like that. <laughs> Member Clinical Trial Conference Research Association, grant reader for the National Institute of Health. Uh, entrepreneur, 40 years in East Texas, employed 100 citizens. Radio personality since 1972 with his civilian and military radio and he's a who's who amongst outstanding professionals, female or male, in America. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Elson McGee. And while he's walking here, I want him to do the ad-libbing. He has one of the biggest campaigns for veterans in Atlanta I've ever seen. All right. He wants to put a monument in Piedmont Park, okay? for over 240 young men who died and lived in Fulton County, Georgia. These bricks can be purchased by anyone with your name or whoever you want to represent on that brick to be in the park. So let's just say any other time, any opportunity in your life that you never had to be a part of Atlanta, you can have a brick in Piedmont. <laughs> I mean, and for a good cause at that. So without that, you can do the ad living, sir. You're a salesman too. The Reverend Elsa McGee, yeah. Thank you, uh, for, for, uh, the National uh, Black Radio Hall of Fame. Uh, I, I left uh, my church this morning because of this program. Uh, you know, I'm pastor of Omega Holiness Church, and I want to bring you greetings from, from my congregation. And, and uh, I just want to thank uh, you guys for being here. I felt humbled and 